everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up two monitors like that one and that one on a PC. Now I would love to be like you do this and then you do this and then it's done but there's a ton of different PC configurations out there and depending on the graphics cards you have and all that stuff there's tons of different methods and tons of different things you'll need to do as far as cables and things of that nature. So I'm going to be showing images on screen of basically different pieces of PC hardware and their I.O. ports to show you where they go. But before we jump on into the video, I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel for awesome tech content just like this. We post it all the time, so uh, yeah, subscribe, like the video, all that awesome stuff. Let's jump on into it. Now, before we get into the PC itself, you need to look at your monitors, right? So I would recommend getting two of the same monitor if you're buying them together. If you're not, that's fine. You can use a TV and a normal monitor if you want. It really doesn't matter the combination but you need to look at both of them and see what kind of ports they have. For example, this monitor right here has a DVI port, a VGA port, and an HDMI port. That is important because we know any of those cables will work on this monitor, right? Any of them. However, you might have another monitor that's not that way. It might only have it DVI and HDMI. Whatever options you have, make sure you take note of those. They're going to be important later. Before we jump into like the back of computers, basically what I want to say is this. Here on the screen right now are the three most common ports or, or cable types that you'll need. Now you might not need all of these, you might only need two of one type, but you'll need at least two cords. I'm showing you this, that way you know what you're looking at on the back of your computer and on the back of your monitors. It's important to know. If you don't know this, you can't hook them up because you're going to need the cables. I've got all these cables linked in the description down below on Amazon, so go down there and check that out if you want to buy those. Amazon's typically where you can get the best deal, so it's all linked down below. We might have to get into some converters. I'm going to have some converters linked down below as well in order for you to, let's say your graphics card only has a VGA and a HDMI out, but your monitor only has a DVI and VGA in, you'll need a VGA to DVI connector to make that work. As you can see, this can be a little bit complicated and that's why you've ended up on this video and that's why there's not one size fits all solution. So you've figured out what goes into your monitors. Now let's look at the back of your computer. Now if you've got a laptop, this is really easy actually. Just look at the sides, look at the ports and you're going to see some that look similar to the monitor ports that you have. It might be an HDMI, that's typically what we see now. Some laptops still have VGA. I've never, I don't think, seen one with a DVI, but yours might have one. Look at what you've got and then go accordingly. However, if you've got a desktop PC, and I'm guessing most of you do, if you look in the back of your computer, you're going to see a big long strip of ports. There's going to be USB there. There's probably going to be Ethernet. You're going to have display ports, HDMI, things like that. But you're also going to have horizontal going down ports like this. Now, you might only have one. And if you have a dedicated graphics card on your PC, either NVIDIA or AMD, you're going to be wanting to look at that. Those vertical ports going down like this. Not the big long long I.O. strip on the back of your motherboard, the graphics card. You want to see what ports are on that graphics card. For example, mine has an HDMI and a VGA, I believe. Whatever yours has doesn't matter. Just see what it is. Then you want to cross-reference that with your monitors. If the inputs are on your monitors, you're great. For example, if one monitor has an HDMI and one has a VGA, you're good to go. If they don't, that's when you start getting into converters. So let's say they both had HDMI. Well, you then want to get a VGA to HDMI converter to use on your your monitor, that way it would work. Now, why do you want to plug these into your graphics card? The reason is because that's the best, highest quality video output. Now, what if you don't have a graphics card? What if you're just running a PC that has a motherboard and is using integrated graphics? Well, then you plug it directly into the motherboard. You might not have two video ports there. If you don't, you can use a splitter also linked down below, to split that one HDMI or one VGA signal into two different signals. So yeah, that's how you can do that. It's it's crazy, there's tons of different ways, but I hope this video kind of helped you out and at least helped you figure out what cords you're going to need. Once you figure out the cords, it's simple as plug and play. So nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description for all the links down there. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown. Like this video, and I'm out, guys. Peace.